Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at toggle multicam in the source model. When this was released as a feature, and it's been out for a little bit for Premiere Pro, um, I, I, I didn't really know why you would use it, so I had to go and ask my buddy at Adobe, uh, Carl Soule, who set the record straight. And it really has to do with the precision of working with clips in multicam. So if you're new to multicam, I've got a whole uh, tutorial on how to set up multicam. I also have another one on how to use multicam with proxies and larger 4K video. But in this feature, I'm going to be talking about how we can toggle the multicam display in the source monitor. Let's go have a look. Here's a typical multicam uh, view where I've got my multicam uh, master showing up here, which is made up out of all of these tracks here. And if you double click on this, it will open up the multicam in the source monitor. And you can also open this up in the timeline. So this is the original multicam source of all this. And by the way, these clips are from the wonderful book called Mastering Multicamera Techniques from Mitch Jacobson. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get that. The uh, book, which is huge and full of, I mean, let's go have a quick look at this. It's full, there's tons of stuff to look at. Um, not only uh, just editing, but uh, cameras, angles, how they set up the shoot. So the book is not only filled with a lot of uh, pictures and text, but that's where these clips come from. There's actually a disc inside the book and you can use them to, to set up a multicam. You might've seen in my previous tutorial where I had a Paul McCartney live concert, same thing, it's all from Mitch's book. Okay, so let's get back to this. So here's my source of all of these clips and that's really what you're seeing in the source monitor here. Now, typically in the program monitor, there are two settings that you can have. And in the little flyout menu here, you'll, you'll see that I'm turned on my multicam uh, view. And there's also a button down at the bottom. You can turn on this button here. So I'll drag this out, click OK, and it turns on and off the multicam display. You can also hold the shift key and tap the zero key to go between that. And typically, a lot of people will just use that one program monitor display. But the idea behind this is to keep that one in a full screen view and then use the source monitor to pick different angles. Um, it's just a different mindset. The, the final result is exactly the same. It's just that some editors uh, like working in the source monitor, a very precise way to uh, set in and out points, durations, and in this example, pick multiple angles before you're putting it in. So you find a, a place on the timeline where you want to cut something. So I'll say, I'll cut something here, and then I'll match frame to this. I'm going to close this up here, so we don't even need this open. So my source monitor is blank. So with my playhead set here, I'm going to tap the F key for match frame, and it's going to open this in the source monitor. If I hold the shift key and tap shift zero, you now have the same toggle multicam in the source monitor. And the same settings here, if I go to the buttons, there's the same um, multicam button that you can bring down and turn on, same thing. So this is what an editor, some editors prefer to do, is to match frame from here, come up to here and pick a different angle. We'll hit I for an in point, and we could set an out point if we want, but then they'll use this key, which is the period key, and overwrite this into the multicam sequence. So now they have a cut like this. And the way that Carl explained that is, if you go back to the multicam display here, you can't really see this in the timeline until you actually commit to it. But I could see this frame here full screen. So I can see that before I commit to this. So 
do you want to see multiple angles? And then do you want to see a large frame of the, the one angle you're looking at in the source monitor? So it does give you extra real estate to work however you want to work, where you can have the program monitor with just a large one, the source monitor with, with multiple one, multiple angles. And then you could also blow up just that one angle and look at it. This is not for everybody, but for some editors, this is going to be something they really like, that precision in the source monitor being able to cut. Now I've got a music video in here, but a multicam is, you can use that for anything. Anytime you have multiple uh, angle views, this could be B-roll or multiple angles from an interview, three shots plus B-roll, and I could be jumping back out there and choosing that and dropping that in. Insert, overwrite, however you want. So there you go, it's, uh, it's an interesting feature. I'll never use it, <laughs> but I, I'm, it's not just always about me. It's about being able to show you all of the features that Premiere Pro has. This one came from uh, requests from a lot of users. So if you find it useful, then uh, fantastic, start using it. If not, then start cutting your multicam or just keep cutting your multicam the way you did before. Hey, if you're new to video or video and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep abreast and listen to my colleagues when they uh, tell me, hey, Colin, you should show this new feature so you get to see. Maybe it's something that you will really like and use. Eh. <laughs>